Here's a quick little video that uh, shows the ability of different types of scopes to catch infrequent little glitches. And uh, it's been one of the kind of Achilles heels of uh, kind of low cost, you know, kind of entry level bench bench type uh, digital scopes that they typically don't aren't really good at that because the uh, rearm time between triggered events is so long you, you could really miss something. So this little test board's generating a digital signal with infrequent little glitches. And here's a, a, a typical entry level, you know, bench type, or I should say a bench type scope that's uh, looking at this. This is after a little Tektronix TDS uh, 2014, very low cost uh, digital scope and pretty typical of what you would see in terms of a waveform writing rate. Um, so uh, they say that these scopes really can't even match the writing rate of uh, an analog scope. So let's look at that same signal here on an analog scope. And if we look at this on the analog scope here, this is a, an older Tech 2465A. Uh, even if we turn the intensity up here, you know, everything looks kind of normal. I mean, I got the intensity cranked all the way up here now. I can't really see any unusual glitches or anything like that. Now back in the uh, mid to late 80s, Tektronix uh, recognized that the writing rate even of these scopes could be improved for looking at catching infrequent glitches and single shot events and developed a, an oscilloscope that had a tube called a microchannel plate CRT. An electron uh, accelerator, if you will, electron multiplier at the face of the CRT. That was put into a couple of scopes, including this 2467 here. So uh, it gives it a very, very fast writing rate. So if we turn the intensity up here, now I can actually see that little infrequent event kind of move in there. You can actually see that little infrequent event occurring right there in the middle of that big pulse. You can also see a real narrow little glitch going on uh, in the middle of that first pulse. This is the kind of thing that even uh, you know, something that uh, even most analog scopes couldn't see, but uh, this special CRT allows you to see that. Kind of fast forward to today, let's kind of scoot over here to uh, to this scope here. This is a, uh, a Tektronix uh, 4000 series bench scope, and uh, with a very, very high probability of intercept of catching these infrequent glitches, and these little glitches are easily seen, you know, on this scope here as well. And the beauty of these things now, too, is that not only can we see them, but we can also trigger on them. So for example, that little glitch right there, call that a runt pulse, a pulse that doesn't reach full amplitude. So I can change my trigger type. Right now I'm showing a trigger type as an edge. I can go change that to a runt trigger. Scroll that up. I went a little too far. Let's go to back to runt. Boom. Okay, now I'm doing the runt trigger. Turn this off and now I'm literally triggering right on when that occurs. I can just kind of scoot this over and kind of see the, uh, the whole waveform there. Let's move that over there. There we go. So I can literally trigger on that event. Not only can I see it, but then I can trigger on it. So just one a quick example of you know, the discovery capability of being able to see these infrequent events and then be able to isolate them, trigger on them, capture them so you can go analyze them.